everyone, welcome back to Team Pandory. Recently, we've been looking at the A500 Mini with a review, the soft mod, and also dipping our feet into hacking this thing. Well, today, I thought we'd check out another soft mod, this time from France. There were some incredible games developed in this country, a few of my childhood favorites. So please, get a drink, relax, and enjoy the show. If we look back on the first soft mod video, we found this website. This is a great resource for anything related to A500 Mini, with information, downloads, as well as links to related sites. Last time we checked a Mini Miga. This time we'll check Le Workbench, a Miga inside. We can download by pushing the disk icon, select these items, and then extract them to a FAT32 formatted USB stick. This will take a bit of time, so have patience, and go make yourself a cup of tea. Time for early grey with Beverly by the fire. We recommend you write protect your UAE file. Right click, properties, and then read only. Now the setup's done, we can safely eject. Then insert it into the Amiga. Stick it in good. Same as the other soft mod, we select this USB stick icon. Go down to Amiga Inside 4.6, select it, and then hit home. And we're in like apple pie. Straight away, I can notice that this looks a lot like classic WB. This is using Workbench 3.1, and it seems very snappy. If we go to the top bar, press right mouse button. Yes, it's French. Let's change that. Go to DHO, prefs, and then find locally. And here we have language and regional options. Click this on the right, followed by our desired language. Select the region. Push the bottom here to use. And if we're fine with that, we go back in and then press save. It's also a good idea to change keyboard settings too. Go to input, select American, test the keyboard in this box. And if we're fine with it, we'll press save. Let's check what's installed. Inside utilities, we have sector editors, CD-ROM utilities, text editors. Let's try one of these. Some settings are still in French. And we have a regular word processor. This one's final writer. And excellent. If you wanted to, you could save these files and then print them out later using a pooter. Stop using words of a child. If we go to preferences, we can change language here, but we couldn't quite flip it to English as we wanted. If you wanted to make some titles for TV, we have Scala. In the early 90s, many TV shows used this to display and create credit sequences. At the end of Emmerdale or Red Dwarf, they used this. That is hot. In the divers, we have various applications. We have a ripper and sysinfo. We know this means nothing at all, but let's test the speed. Oh my god, it's six um, dry stones. Moving on to the graphics packages, we have Dpaint V AGA. Remember them days, pulling out deep paint and drawing nice pictures of dogs. And then lemmings getting squished by a hammer in some crazy, wacky animation. The name Guybrush Streetwood came from this package. It's called Guy.brush. I'm sure you knew that by now. If you wanted to load up some stock animations, you can do that. Beautiful. Can you get a number? We have Fantavision, a vector-based animation package. What are you doing? Bring back the pretty girl. No, I'm happy with this, buddy. It's fine. It's tea time. Beverly, are you ready to ride my lightning? This is a ray tracing and 3D modeling package. And with Vista Pro, we can make mountains. Again. Over here we have some file and disk copiers such as the world-famous XCopy Pro 93. Oh man, this brings bad memories. On the left you got the copy modes, and then tools. This was even on the TV show Bad Influence. With FileMaster, we can copy files. And at the bottom we got Dopers 4. It's not as feature-packed as the one on Classic WB or a Minimiga, but this can be improved in the future. The music folder has some trackers and music players. Here's Pro Tracker. Let's load up a song.
let's choose an absolute belter. By format, here is Chuck Rock. Next up, Octomed. This is very similar to ProTracker, but at this point, it's not fully working. We can load a song up, no problem, but there's something not quite right with this install. There are a few music players. This one here is Eagle Player, and we can navigate through our file list by using the Dura List Viewer. At the top where it says Parent, that means to go up a folder. To load a song, double click. There's quite a few things we can play around with here. The slider controls the volume, and if we click these buttons, we can select which tracks are playing. Honestly, this is one of my most used applications on the Amiga. You can have it running in the background, and it sounds great. There's also another player called Hip. Japanese people think it means but. Well, thanks, John. So similar to Eagle Player, we need to find our modules first. We can select all of these, and then hit OK. That'll place all of the songs into our playlist. And this one also has various options. To find them, click PR, and we have plenty to play with. We could change resolution. I usually avoid doing this, as it'll slow down Workbench. This build is packed with demos. To access them, we just open this folder, and we navigate through to the demo of our choice. Demos like this will push the Amiga to its limits. You could have picked babes, but you picked balls. Find a file that you think will run, Space balls. double click it, and then press enter. John Luke in the house! Hey, my name is John Luke. Disrespect me. I'll make you puke. Where's we going in the holodeck while my dong breaks Beverly's throat? John, that was brilliant. Thanks for that. So, in Dukes, we go... You okay? <laughs> okay, so, John... <laughs> anyway, so this is where the games are. All in separate folders. Navigate through, and then you'll find a little stupid icon like this. Double-click, and it'll load the game. Straight from stock, Turrican is working wonderfully. Jim Power is still slow as dirt and buggy as hell. Outrun Europa is also quite slow. If we switched options in Amiberry using F12, we could probably speed this up a little, but to do this on a game by game basis would be extremely awkward. With the Amiga Inside providing a French alternative to a Mini Amiga, it's nice to see some healthy competition. Perhaps sometime in the near future, We'll have all Amiga games running at a decent speed, with no bugs and no faff. As I play Tearaway Thomas, here's a quick thank you to all of those on our Patreon. All of the proceeds go straight back into this project, and you guys are the fuel for our fire. We're basically fixing very cheap Chinese boxes, in my pants, creating video tutorials and reviews. If you wish to support our work, please jump on the Patreon, or you could give this video a like. This has been Emi Chicken of Team Pandori, and I'll catch you on the next one. This is a stupidly fast game. Is this Sonic the Hedgehog?